Hey everyone and welcome to my first tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to learn how to properly import files from Illustrator to Adobe After Effects. Now I will show you the two ways and I will start with the better one, like the best method, so you can click away if you feel satisfied. First I will open up the Illustrator and we can see this is our logo that we have to import. We can see there are there is this uh, one layer and uh, multiple paths inside of it. And there is this background image. We don't really need this image, but let it sit there. So what we want to do is click on layer one and then click here, release to layers sequence. What this will do is create a layer from every single one of these paths and that image that we had. Now we will simply select all of them and drag them out side of this layer so they are like standalone layers now this layer is empty so we can delete it we don't need it anymore and that's pretty much it we have our file ready to be imported i'll press ctrl s to save this and now we can open after effects here we are in adobe after effects i will click on new composition i will name it importing files from ai just for the sake of this tutorial and I'll leave everything on default. Okay, composition is created. I will take the file that I saved from Illustrator and I will simply drag it in. And now it will give me this option, import kind. What you wanna do is select composition because you will see why and leave this on document size, press okay. And here we have a new composition created from the file we have imported. We can double click this to open it and we can see all the, lay all the layers are here. We don't really need this background image. I will click here and then hold shift to click on layer 7 to select all of them. Right click, create and create shapes from vector layer. What this will do is create a shape from all of these layers. And that's pretty much it. Now we don't really need these anymore. I'll hold down control and click on all of them to remove them press delete and they're gone so now what you can do is manipulate all of these shapes to their own okay now that's that's one way let's go to the other one i will close this i will remove this and what we will do again is uh, drag in and click footage okay now what we have is this one file that we've imported it's not a composition like the other time we can still press right click create and create shapes from vector layer now it only created one shape because we've imported as merge layers we can delete this one but we can still see the outlines here so these are all shapes right let me fit this back up and now after we expand this go to content we can see that all of these paths have been created inside of these groups, inside of that one shape. So this is a bit harder to manipulate in terms of animation, but if this suits you for whatever reasons, if you don't wanna have many shapes inside of your project, you can simply use this method. You can see if we like remove the eye thingy, they're disappearing one by one. I hope you learned something new today and I will see you in the next one.